Welcome to the second part of this tutorial. In this video we will show you how to plan GCPs in Google Earth Pro. At InFlights we provide drone mapping data to our clients worldwide. If you don't have an account with us, please register one at inflights.com slash pilot. Example 1. A basic terrain mapping project. After you opened the KML in Google Earth Pro, you will see the white polygon. Expand the project in the left menu and right-click on the polygon layer. Select Properties. Click on the Color and Style tab and change the area transparency to 30%. To mark a GCP in Google Earth Pro, press the pin icon from the top menu. Delete the default name of the pin with the backspace key. You can change the default pin icon to a different one. We suggest using this one. Start planning your GCP placement at the corner of the project. Add more GCPs at every corner of the project. Then add rest of the GCPs in the center of the project. Now you can export this KML to your mobile device and navigate to the specific location. To do that, right-click on the project KML file from the left menu. Click Save As, choose KML format and write the name of the file and click Save. Now, go to Google My Maps using the Internet Browser. You will need a Gmail account to log in. Click Create New Map button. Press Import and select the KML that you saved from Google Earth Pro. Now click Share. If you want, you can change the name of this map here. Click OK, enable sharing and copy the link. You can use this link on your mobile device to navigate to GCP location in the field. For basic projects, you don't have to use Google Earth Pro. You can just go directly to Google My Maps. Example 2. Complicated terrain mapping. Here is another example. This time the area is bigger and more complicated. Notice that some part of the area is in the city, another part is an open field, and some part is in the forest and lake. This project is also bigger. It will directly influence the number of GCPs needed. The type of drone that you will use also influences the number of GCPs. RTK slash PPK equipped drones will require much less GCPs. Less GCPs equals less work in the field and it limits human error. Let's start with the corners. Add pins inside the area of interest near each corner. I changed the pin to a different pattern and I zoomed in with my mouse scroll wheel to the corner. In this case I tried to put the point far away from the fence. Here it is easier. Another point here. Avoid setting points close to buildings or trees. To edit the point, right-click on it and choose Properties. Now you can drag and confirm with the OK button. Again avoid tall objects. It could be also on the intersection, but cars can move or damage your GCP 
So in this case, just leave it here. Next corner is near the forest and near the lake. Let's put a GCP in open space as close to the corner as possible. And the last corner is here, in an open field. We usually use RTK or PPK equipped drones for projects like this. This means that the distance between GCPs should be smaller than 600 meters. Press the ruler icon and measure the distance between each GCP. Here it is a bit over 600 meters, so let's add a GCP in the middle just to be safe. On this side we'll need to add two GCPs. Try locating those in easily accessible areas, for example close to the road. Next I continue setting GCPs around the sides of the boundary. Here is a tricky situation. The only place where we can add GCPs is here. And here. Now we should add some GCPs in the middle. One close to this crossroads. Another one in an open field here. We still have two more GCPs to place. Our in-flights processing team will use at least two GCPs as checkpoints. Let's add those in between existing GCPs. The GCP distribution pattern is ready. Now we can export and upload to Google My Maps the same way as we did before. In this example, the distribution pattern for RTK or PPK equipped drone has less than 20 GCPs. For a non RTK drone, you would need to set over 150 GCPs for this area. Setting this many GCPs would take one or even two days. Thanks for watching, see you in the next part.